What's up, ladies and gentlemen? All right, this is just a quick little video I thought I'd make about installing drip edge when you're doing a roof. Um, I'm not going to put any shingles or paper on this, but I'm going to just show you real quick. I got a spare piece of this drip edge. I'm going to show you. I could stand on the ground and do this. How you would install and cut this stuff to uh, wrap it around corners and stuff. This usually is the drip edge you would use on the side here, the rake, I guess. And then there's a thicker drip edge that would go in the front, which would go front over here. But what I'm gonna do is use this piece and wrap it around and just show you really quick how to install this stuff, all right? What you're gonna do is obviously have a clean surface. You're gonna mount this guy like this, okay? That top ridge, and those little ruffles, they go on the roof side. The flat part goes on the outside. So I'm going to throw a few nails in this and then I'm going to, sh what we're going to do is we're going to mark this corner and I'm going to take tin snips and just cut across. Okay. And then when you take the tin snips and just cut the top part, you'll be able to fold the side. All right. Hang on a second. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. All right. What you want to do is you want to get it up here. Just a couple of nails. Okay. Because if you're going to do shingles or starter and stuff like that. You'll have uh, probably a few nails to catch, but you only need a couple, okay? When you get to this corner, you're gonna need some snips. These I bought at Home Depot. They're nice. They were like on sale for like 15 bucks. Always good to have. So you're gonna come over here on the edge and you're gonna cut straight across, just on the top, okay? You can see that where I cut it. And all you're going to do is you're going to fold this. Very simple. All right, let me just get to the end. You fold it over. And as you fold it, it makes a nice corner. See that? Very simple. So you cut the top and you fold it across. And we're going to tack a nail here. We'll go about 20 inches or so, every 20 inches to the corner. All right, and I'll cut that corner and fold it and then get a little piece to finish and just overlap it coming down. So when the water runs down this way, it goes over it. All right, that's it. That's how you put drip edge on, especially cutting a corner. All right, let me nail it and I'll show you the finished product. All right, one more time, you get to the edge. I know it's a little piece, but you get to the edge. You want to cut this straight across where the wood is just the top okay with the 10 snips like that then you're basically going to just fold this bad boy in like this all right you nail it down and she's good to go nice corner all right so that's it drip edge start from one side cut it straight across fold it and tack it in, get to the edge, do the same thing, cut it, turn it, she's good to go. All right, take care, have a good one, and remember, the one thing you should remember always when watching these videos, subscribe, share, and like, cause you know what it's like. All right, make sure you do that, so this way I can shoot more videos your way. This was just a quick one. I'm just horsing around today. The rain came. I was supposed to do something. Do a little outdoor painting. With this weather, I don't even recommend you do that. But uh, messing around here at the place. I'm going to venture on inside now and start screwing around with the inside. All right, we'll take, uh, take care. Have a good day, and we'll catch you on the next one. Alrighty then. Later, kid.